Hello again, yo Lloyd. Yep, it's that lovable, wacky character who's always trying to steal pizza. Domino's Pizza, also made by Capcom. Now, unlike a lot of licensed games, this is actually pretty good. <clears throat> so let's start the game. Yeah, it's your typical 2D scrolling platformer, but it's fun. You play the Noid, and he's the good guy this time. And what do you do? You collect scrolls to build up magic power, or Noid power, whatever it's called. And here come the bad guys. So if you hit the big scrolls, they open up and give you magic powers. One hit and you're dead, so be careful. Also, platforming. Don't fall off the platforms. Also a good idea. Now throughout this game, you'll find hidden items if you hit the right spots. That can be used either immediately or towards the end of the stage. Or ones ups. You'll need a lot of ones ups. Seriously. But we're on a time limit, so we gotta move quickly. And score. Score is important. It will lead to points. Points for extra lives. And there are no continues, unless you get a continue. Which it would be a good idea. So get lives, get continues, and don't fall down in the water. Platform good. Oh yes, magic powers. There are several of them. By pressing down and B, no it sticks out his finger and gives them the thumbs up. Usually it involves invisibility, destroying stuff on the screen, and sometimes the platform detection, hit detection is a little wonky. But otherwise, it's a good game. The Noid control is good. And it's a fair challenge. It gets really, really challenging towards the end, though. So let me complete this stage correctly this time here. And we'll see what some of these fabulous things do for us that I've been collecting. So if you want to keep keep the Noid out, you just gotta shout. And no, I don't work for Domino's either. So don't get any of your hopes up. I'm not here to deliver you free pizza. I'm here to eat pizza. Which is actually very relevant. Excuse me while I get towards the end of the stage here, and you will see exactly what I mean. You might approve. If you're wise enough, you might find a bonus stage with a mini game. Mini games are always awesome, except when they're not awesome. The worst type of mini games are ones that instantly kill you. The best types of powers are magic that kill enemies instantly. So let's get to the end of the stage already and deal with our first balls in a pizza eating contest. Oh my! The idea is to eat more pieces than him, obviously. And the computer randomly selects cards. So what do you do? You strategize. You pick low cards. And yes, I know. He won that round. But all I have to do is fill up a few squares there. Or circles if you will. Now it's time to dominate. With special powers, I can double my amount. And three times two is eating five, or one gigantic pizza. I barely won that one. Okay, so the dialogue isn't perfect. But if you tie, well... Yeah. So beat the area champion, or you lose a life. And you don't want to lose a life and start at the beginning of the stage again. So, what if I decide I want to sabotage? Well, looks like he ate three pizzas. Oops, somebody can't eat red pepper. And it involves dirty tricks. And I probably should have saved that pepper for the five. Because now, he's going to take advantage of it. You can also get black pepper. That prevents your enemy from eating completely. And you can get triples. 
So triples times three is nine. And yes, he creamed me. That sounds so wrong. So I gotta wait for him to pick one. And then I can dominate him with a three. Otherwise, it's just a matter of tying and buying time. <sighs> Indeed. But shouldn't this piece of parlor be dominoes? Hmm. Instead of random place, I don't know, maybe have the logo? I don't know. I know you have your opinion on which pizza parlor is the best. Some people will say go with the locals, and I would have to agree with them. Local pizza usually tastes better, but it's frequently more expensive. And you do have to win two events. There are no ties. So let me wrap this up, and we'll be able to take a quick look at the next stage. And I get my delicious bonuses. For doing special events, getting special items, and winning with grace. And I believe at 30,000 I'll eventually get the continues. But this is singles only on ice. Oh dear. So I need to be careful. I need to be slick. I need to not get hit. Or I fall off the edge. Screaming. In glorious pain. Which is what the Captain annoyed after his career in commercials was over. So remember the Noid. Remember this game. Remember to hit polar bears with your yo yo. Also, I should mention in later stages, you get to re ride cool and not so cool devices. No puns intended. Providing you can provide the platforms of this stage. Indeed. And I think I'll call this video a wrap. No, I never did rap, did he? No, I never said much. And whatever you do, don't trust guys in Eskimo suits throwing whatever those are called curlers.